Hey art friends, today we're drawing another animal from Minecraft. Which one are we drawing? A parrot! Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some? Paper and some code. You ready to draw? Yes! <laughs> Let's start by drawing a straight line down. It's gonna be a short line and I'm drawing it towards the top of our paper but also to the left so that we have room for the body. So I'm gonna draw it right about here and it's really short. There you go. Now let's draw a diagonal line coming up and to the left. This is the front of our parrot's head, the forehead. Now we're gonna match that same line right below it and it's gonna come out and stop right underneath that first line. There you go. And this one's a little bit longer so this one can come out longer too so that the line is right above it. And then we can connect that straight down Okay, now let's draw the right side of our parrot's head. We're going to draw another diagonal line, but it's going to be longer than the front of the head. And you could use a ruler if you wanted to, but I like practicing our straight lines. This line could be just a little longer too. Cool. Now we're going to draw another diagonal line that matches that one, but it's half. We're not going to go all the way. We're going to stop halfway. Then we can draw a straight line down from this line. We're going to come straight down about that far. There you go. Then let's also draw a straight line from the back of the head coming down, but this one's going to stop really short. Yes. And then we can connect those two together. Okay, now let's come over here and draw the beak next. We're going to start by drawing two lines straight down from the forehead. We'll start here. We'll draw one down. And then the next one I'm going to draw right here. And this one comes down and it's a little longer. Good. Then we can connect those two at the bottom also. Now we're going to draw another line right here inside of the head. We're going to draw it straight down and stop right about there. And then we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes in and we're going to stop almost like halfway to this line. And then we're going to draw a line straight down and then connect it to that longer line. Now let's draw the rest of the beak. We're going to draw a straight line up and then a diagonal line that matches the top line. Yeah. And then also right here, let's just draw a little corner for the bottom of the beak. That's a really cool shape for the beak. Now let's add the eye. I'm going to extend this line back further about halfway in between here. Then we're going to draw a straight line down and another diagonal line that matches the top. Yes, let's color in that shape. Then let's also draw a diagonal line here and connect for the bottom of our bird's head right here. Okay, now let's draw the top of our parrot. We're going to draw a diagonal line and I'm going to draw it just to about there. And look, this line matches this line right here. See how it's the same angle? Okay, now let's draw the feathers sticking out of the top of our bird's head. We're going to draw a line that comes down and stop about halfway into the head and it connects to that line. I love drawing Minecraft stuff. It's, it's almost like putting together a puzzle. Yeah. There you go. And then let's draw a diagonal line. Look at this. We're going to match this line too. Nice. And then we're going to draw a line that comes up, straight up. And you can go all the way up to there. Then we're going to draw a line right here that comes all the way across like this. I'm actually going to make this line come a little further. Okay, now we're going to add extra feathers. We're going to start here inside of this shape. We're going to come up really high about to there. And then right here, we're going to come across. And then we're going to come up also. (laughs) 
Then we're going to start here and extend this line up to match up here. Then we can connect those up at the top. Then we're going to come across like this and then connect down. Okay, let's finish the back of our parrot's head. We did it, Austin! We finished our parrot's head. Now we need to draw the body. Yeah! That was probably the most complicated part, and it looks awesome. I especially love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome, and it's okay if your drawings are looking different too. They're turning out really cool. The most important thing is... To have fun! And to... Practice! Practice! Okay, let's keep going. Now let's draw the shoulder for our parrot. We're going to start here and draw a short line that comes out this way. Then we're going to come down, and this line matches right here. And then this line, we're going to come up and connect, and connect it to the beak if you want. Yes! Okay, now let's draw the wing. I'm going to start right here, and we're going to draw another diagonal line that comes down next to the shoulder. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down. And I'm going to draw another diagonal line that comes down right here, too. So we got a big rectangle shape. And then let's add another line right here for the top of the wing. And then we're going to draw the rest of the body. So right here, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down. And look how it's angled. It gets a little further away down here. So it's close up here and then further away down here. And then we're going to connect this in to the wing. And then we can also connect right here too, up at the top. Now let's draw the front of our bird, or the chest. We're going to draw a diagonal line that matches this line right here. So we're going to start here, and we're going to come down right about to there. And then right here we can connect these two lines together. Let's draw the little wing right here. See this corner? We could draw a little corner sticking out like that. Now let's add the tail. We're going to draw another rectangle shape coming out to the side. So we'll draw the first line coming out from the wing. Then we'll draw a short line down and then back into the body. And right here, you could also extend that. Maybe it comes underneath the wing on yours. And then let's draw the top of our tail. We'll just draw a little diagonal line connecting maybe right to there. What's our little parrot missing? It's legs. It's legs. Yeah. Let's start here. We'll draw a line straight down. So we can start right here and draw it straight down. Try to draw a little longer. And then we're going to draw another line straight down. And this one's going to be shorter. Yeah, we could draw. Yours are a little bit longer, so you could draw it right to there, maybe. <laughs> and then let's draw another diagonal line to connect the bottom. Let's draw another leg coming down right next to it. And look at this. I'm going to imagine this line going through. So I'm going to stop right there. So yours could come down. I love how long your legs are. And then the next line right next to it, this one is the same distance away from here. So yeah, make it the same width as the other one. And I love how you made that one longer. That's okay. We're going to make this line go straight to there, or a diagonal line that goes up. Yes, and then we can connect it. Now let's draw the bottom of the feet sticking out. We're going to draw this line, this line, this one, and this one. <laughs> Look, they're all the same length. There you go. And then let's connect the top two and also the bottom two. 
We did it, awesome, we finished our parrot, our Minecraft parrot. It looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. Now there are different kinds of parrots, right? There are red ones and blue and yellow ones, and even a gray one. Yeah. Or a green one. <laughs> you can color your parrots any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. So we did it! We finished coloring and drawing our parrots and they turned out perfect. I especially love that you colored yours blue, green, and yellow. I love that yours is art for kids' colors. Yeah, the red, yellow, and blue. You could also do the cockatiel color, which is gray and yellow on the front of the face. And we hope you had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your parrots. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.